Hey, uh, welcome back to my channel. It's Wendy here from Tim Peer Crafts and I hope you're doing okay. Today I'm doing a collaboration with Hugh Davis at Wouldn't It Be Nice. I'll put his link in the description and up there if I can figure out how to do it. Still not done that one. Um, he sent me some wood. I've sent him some pen blanks and hopefully we're both going to make something out of what the other one sent us. Now he sent me a box of wood. This is the box. And in here we've got laburnum bark on, yew bark on, and elm burr. Now I know that's the elm burr. It's gorgeous, isn't it? They're all thinly sliced. He sliced them all up really thin. There's loads, of, there's tons of them. That's only about half. That's another one. Again, all sliced up. Really, really nice slices. I feel like they're all sanded as well. I think he's put a lot of effort into this. And that's the last one. Now I do have some plans. I don't have anything started at the moment. So this is all pre-starting. Um, let's see what I'm going to get up to because I have no idea at the moment. Okay, so I started with a huge mould. Now I've used this mould before for placemats. It is a huge, really deep mould. Ideal for putting slices of wood in. And I've already covered the wood in resin to try and hold back some of those bubbles. The bubbles in wood are a nightmare, but I've tried to limit the amount of air that will come out by coating them first. It did work to a certain extent, not brilliantly. Now I'm putting them straight onto the mould. In hindsight, I should have done a layer of resin first because some air got trapped underneath the pieces of wood and I had to back coat it. So note to self, if you do this again, put a thin layer of resin on first. So I'm just going to pour the first layer of resin just enough to go around the edges really. I want to hold them in place because I know there's a bubble issue. I don't want to get them completely covered but I do need them to be slightly covered if you see what I mean. I don't know if I'm making myself very clear there. So yeah, I want all the edges to be covered. Now, like I said, I have coated these in resin once already, but resin sinks into the wood, kind of soaks it all up. So they weren't completely airtight. Using my silicon tool, those are very handy, those silicon tools. You can just wipe them off afterwards and use them the next day. And if you let the resin cure on them, you can just pull it off. Very handy. So I have speeded a lot of this up for you because it is quite repetitive. There's quite a few layers to this tray. And I'm just squirting my isopropyl alcohol on top to get rid of most of the surface bubbles. So now I'm putting window film butterflies on. Now later on I do actually decide I don't like these because they're too big and they're now sitting on my window. <laughs> but it seemed like a good idea at the time. But I've left this clip in because I also started putting in some little butterfly tattoos that work so much better. They are beautiful butterflies but they just didn't look right. They weren't sitting straight and it just didn't work. So here's where I start using the tattoos. Not a good idea to put a tattoo on top of a piece of wood, you can't see it. So the rest all went on clear bits. So you just put them on, put a touch of water on the top, let it seep in for just a minute and then slide them off. If you haven't used tattoos in resin, try it, they're brilliant, they are amazing. Obviously you can't see that one because it's on top of the wood, so yeah, don't do that again. <laughs> but the rest all go in clear areas and they look great, I think. There's just temporary tattoos that you can buy from Amazon. Give it a go. They don't take a second. Little drop of water on the back, voila. Again, speeded all this up for you. And here's where I'm deciding that I don't like the big ones and they're coming off. Luckily they're only window films, they're not stickers, so they just peel off. But window films do go really well in resin, but they're just too big on this occasion. So this is what it looks like at this stage. I still think it looks a little bare, but there's plenty of time. Next layer. This is where it becomes more flat and the resin is more or less over the top of all the wood. 
but it does create more bubbles. So again, I'm using my silicon tool just to go over everything and go around the edges. I'm now using a micro brush to pop the bubbles that are in the previous layer so that the resin will fill up the holes. This does take a long time and I'm going to spare you from that. 24 hours later and it's time to put on some more tattoos. Makes it 3D as well, putting on different tattoos in different layers. Gives it a very 3D effect, I think, anyway. And I think that looks a lot better. I think it looks fuller and more vibrant. But it's still lacking something, so in the next layer, yes, there's another layer. I think I'm going to add something else. Again, a silicon tool to go around the edge, get rid of the bubbles around the edge. And I'm going to put some Hemway glitter in it. Hemway glitter is just so sparkly. And all I'm doing is getting a little micro brush that the brush has gone from, taking a little bit of the glitter on my brush and just swiping it through the resin. Now this resin has been sitting for about an hour, so the glitter is not going to dissipate through the resin very much at all. I just want it to be wispy, wispy glitter. an iridescent silver and it's so sparkly it's beautiful that's all there is to it just a little bit of glitter on your stick your toothpick your plastic stick whatever you're using and just swipe it through and it's so so sweet top coat final top coat we've got there at last lots of layers to this taking it up to the edge don't want it to go over micro brush for the bubbles this may seem like a lot of effort but it really does pay off isopropanol alcohol to get rid of the surface bubbles brilliant and 24 hours later it's ready to demold this is where i think i've done it i've got there it's the end of it it's quite a few layers and i've managed to get there no as soon as i turn it around i see all the spaces underneath the wood So now I have to tape up the front because I don't want to mess the front up at all. So I've put a plastic sheet over it and put painter's tape on it. And I've covered the sides with silicon rubber just to be on the safe side. Made sure that it's straight. And again with Vista Rapids top coat in. Yet another coat. Taking it very slowly up to the edge. Don't want to go over the edge. Even though I've covered it in silicone and it's got a back in, I still don't want to go over the edge. Twenty-four hours later, I've put the silver edging on, which I think has made it look so nice. Really has made it stand out. And there we have it. Well the bubbles were annoying. Oh my goodness, were they annoying. They took me forever. I had to guard it like a hawk. 
and each layer I had to pop the bubbles that I missed in the previous layer so that the resin would fill up the holes. But I got there and I love it. I absolutely love it. Here it is. And I love the butterflies. I think they just set it off. I put a little bit of sparkle in there. I don't know if you can see it on camera. A little bit of glitter just on the end of a stick. Just put it in wispy like. There are some bubbles in here, very, very tiny micro bubbles, but you can't see them. You really can't. I didn't film doing the outside edge. I, I started it and thought, should I film this? I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. But once I did it, I was blown away. I think it really makes this piece stand out. It is gorgeous. It is huge. <laughs> it's going to you. <laughs> Hope you did the wood justice, you. Beautiful wood, absolutely stunning, really stunning. The pen wood I used for the outside was a, a Shida Decor colour, silver, premium silver. Absolutely gorgeous colour. Look at the shine on that. That is stunning, really stunning. Yeah, I love it. Thanks so much, Hugh, for this collaboration. I've still got quite a lot of wood left and I'm going to be doing using that in future products, I think. But wow. <laughs> I learned a lot from this. I know wood gives off a lot of bubbles and I was scared, scared like I wouldn't believe of the bubbles, but I managed to sort them. As you saw from the video, I sorted them. Anyway, <laughs> thanks very much you for this. I'll put loads of stills up at the end so you can see the finished product. I've got lots coming up, uh, including hopefully next week another collaboration with an amazing artist. Uh, and crafter. She, she is brilliant. She is absolutely brilliant and she deserves a lot more attention than she's getting. So yeah, look out for that one. Um, I'll see you next Tuesday. Have a nice week. Take care. Bye for now.